today I would like to talk about visions and religion. And this is something that I've thought about for a long time. People ask, well, I know what I saw, I saw it, and that's good enough for me. The problem is, we know that the brain is fallible. We know that we can hallucinate or see things that aren't there, especially in certain circumstances, late at night, dark, scared, frightened, and in fact, studies show that memories are worse at the very times people would think they're most accurate. Dramatic events can change your perception and can cloud memories, even though they appear to be the most accurate. And it, something that drives me up the wall with religion is, as I've said, people have these concepts that their memories are perfect. And so, people in the past were perfect memories. And this is times when miracles and the concept of demons and whatnot were far, far more believable and more commonly believed. And I've done and seen enough things over my lifetime where if I was more religious, I would have considered them religious events and not actually think about them. A great example was walking home one late one night. I'd just been watching the Grudge series and I get about halfway home and I look in the parking lot and, well, I guess it was a driveway and I look over and see a eight-year-old kid just staring at me. In the shadows, a hard trace, and I'm freaking out for a second there, and it's like, staring at it, it's like, okay, I've seen Grudge, I've seen enough horror films, and only an eight-year-old out like three in the morning is not a good thing. And then it moved its head, and I saw it was a deer. But if I hadn't taken the time to think about it, if I hadn't paid attention, just went with my first dealing, I saw a ghost. I saw a ghost or a demon child or something. And how many people that have seen such things don't think critically, or don't find out what it actually was? I've seen enough hallucinations right before bed, you know, right when I'm sort of drifting off, I'll see something. I think I mentioned it before, but I once saw a giant tarantula for months on my ceiling, and it'd just be floating there, sort of moving about, and I'd see it, and I'd turn on the light, and nothing's there, and I know, I know, there has been an explanation, and it was weeks before I figured it out, and what happened was I'd been spending every night playing WoW. And I play for three hours before I go to bed. And so I was seeing the map burn into my retina. And the movement the eye makes was creating the image of it moving. And my brain filled in the gaps and saw a large tarantula on my ceiling. It wasn't there. But my brain created and filled in what wasn't there. And stuff like this makes me question religion. If everyone can make these little errors. Our brains aren't perfect. Our memories aren't perfect. People lie. People are scam artists. People make up stuff. How many people think they killed JFK? How many people, whenever there's a killing, people go out of woodworks? Some are probably convinced they did it, even though they didn't. So how can we trust religious experiences? If you've got a solution to this, I'd like to hear it. Comment down below. But this is the kind of thing that fascinates me. So rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts.